It is honestly embarrassing how often I would overlook this in my past dating experiences. Like a few years ago, there was this guy that I hooked up with on and off for about like a year. And of course, he was a stereotypical frat finance bro. I always knew that we were just a hookup and it was never going to turn into anything real. But one day I asked him like, hey, do your friends know that you're into bigger girls? And he said, yeah, I tried to tell them once, but they just made fun of me. So I don't really talk to them about it. So I don't know why she thinks that because a guy's having sex with you, somehow he's into you. That just means that he's just into having sex with you. He's not into you personally speaking, or at least not to that particular level. Otherwise, he'd be dating you, right? So I don't know why so often I hear these women claim like, oh, if a guy's having sex with me, therefore he must really, really like me. Nope, that's not the case, dude. I've literally met guys that have had sex with conditioner bottles. I've met dudes that are having sex with watermelons and assorted fruits. It's 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 a common thing. So obviously your vagina is going to be like far and away better than that. So and it doesn't really matter the composition of your body if all he's looking for is just sexual activity. So I don't know why these women would equate that having sex with a guy is somehow meaning that he's into fat girls. No, that just means that he's into having sex with you, which is not really anything to brag about, if I'm being honest with you. Like having sex with somebody is a very incredibly easy thing compared to a relationship, right? But if you wanted a relationship, the last thing you should be doing is having sex with guys that just want to use you for your body. I've said this like time and time again. Like it's not a flex to sit there and like be like Marissa Matthews and claim that you have you have had sex with hundreds of guys as if that's anything to, I don't know, like be commended for. Like it's a clapping. It's like a like good job. You've had sex with hundreds of people. That's gross. It's nasty, especially if you wanted a relationship. Um. I am firmly against if you want a relationship, do not just have sex with random men. That is obviously not the that is not the thing to do. And by the way, like I said, um, he's probably not attracted to fat girls. He's just probably attracted to having sex with you right now, given the fact that he didn't commit to you and get a relationship. And if you wanted a relationship, why are you giving him your body? Anyway. So I was like, what does that mean for like your dating life? So he it means that I don't date fat girls that's really what it comes down to dude and why should i have to talk to my friends about you as a potential partner i don't why do you think that this woman thinks that she's way 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 up there on the like level of his like his his ladder you know what i'm saying but like in reality he's just probably just having sex with you dude and i there's nothing more to it than that you literally said that you were hooking up with him why would you think it's anything more than that it's hooking up it's just having sex don't really talk to them about it this woman caught feelings that's what i'm getting from this she caught feelings which is fine you know like hey uh if you like i've said this time and time again but like men and women have different ladders right women have a friends a friends ladder and a having sex ladder aka relationships right and on the friends ladder, they're never going to look at those guys as anything other than just friends. And on the sex ladder, they can possibly be relationships. Whereas dudes are just one ladder. So when the woman is having sex with a guy, she thinks, okay, he's on my ladder. That means all I have to do is just keep giving him sex. And eventually he'll just, you know, be my boyfriend. When on his ladder, it's just sex to him. Like he's never going to look at you as anything other than just sex. And he's not going to commit to you. So that's the way you should be looking at it, dude. You're not special. He's just having sex with you. Just keep it a buck on that front. Okay. You're not special. Um, anyway. I mean, you're special, but you know, like I'm sure you have things about you that are special, but in this particular scenario, you're not. So I was like, what does that mean for like your dating life? So he literally said, yeah, I just F fat girls in private and then I'll just date and marry a skinny girl. True. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you, what are you really asking for? And I'm not saying that's good behavior. Obviously it's something that he wants to do. And I think people should have full bodily autonomy in the sense of like, if you want to have sex with a fat girl and the fat girl is totally okay with having sex with you, then fine, whatever, dude. He obviously doesn't value fat women the same way that he's going to value skinnier women and i always say this like i don't know why so many of these women think that they're so incredibly high valued because they're fat as if like the fatness doesn't negatively affect you in any significant way and they always bring up these cases of like well i'm just so special like i'm so funny i'm just I'm, I'm just great to be around do you know how easy it is to claim that you're funny awesome and amazing all simultaneously everybody does that like nobody thinks that they're not funny nobody thinks that they have a bad personality so if your claim to fame here is that you're you're amazing all these fronts do you not think that there are women out there that are skinny that are in shape that are also having those same traits obviously so why do you think that you're so special you're not you're just not and also the weight is a detriment a big detriment at that it's literally like living life on hard mode and i don't know if you guys have ever been in relationships before where there's like no compatibility um it's all right to a certain degree like obviously for me i'm not like surfing i'm not fucking like you know i'm not out taking hikes and things like that uh i don't know like there, i'm not that type of person 
So if I were to date somebody like that, it might not be as compatible, right? And don't get me wrong, it's fine if you want to date somebody like that because it might be really good for you to do that because it might get you out of the house. It might get you to do those things that you ordinarily might not be doing. And that's really great because you're like bonding with that person. But sometimes it's just not practical because this person, for instance, uh, can she like go on hikes? Can she walk for long distances? Could you go and do like great stuff together? Especially if you're a thinner guy dating a fatter woman or vice versa. Probably not. Probably not. And odds are, if you're a thinner person, you probably like doing the things that are going to make you more aerobics. So like maybe going to the gym, maybe just taking a walk, maybe like just doing basic human being stuff, like going to the coffee shop and just walking around the park for 25 minutes. That's probably going to be like unrealistic for a lot of these people. And it really sucks to say this, but that's n most definitely not going to help you in the dating market. Like most people, I hate to say this, first impressions really fucking matter. And if you're really fat, if you're fat in general, People are looking at that and they're judging and they're going, hmm, this person's like really, really big. I don't think it's practical for me to be in a relationship with this person, given the fact that they are literally dying. How am I going to take care of this person if they can't even take care of themselves? Like, that's obviously the truth. So if you ever wanted to get into a relationship, you should be taking care of yourself first and foremost. Be selfish. 100% be selfish. And I don't care that you think that you have an amazing personality or you're funny and you have all this great stuff going on in your life. Nobody gives a fuck about that shit. I'm sure you can find somebody that I'm sure somebody somewhere, somewhere uh, out there in the world will find you very attractive. But at that point, you're just gambling. You're literally just going, there's somebody out there for, for somebody out there for, for me somewhere. But if you're doing that, how do you know that person that does like you is even somebody that you're going to like? It's just like the worst way of ever looking at it ever. Wouldn't it be better to like open up your whole entire bracket, like open up the funnel and let people in? Like make yourself as attractive as humanly possible. Let in as many people as possible, right? And then you be the funnel and you decide who comes out, right? You decide who you get to pick from instead of just having like one or two people that like you because they like the flavor of your stomach folds or they want to feel the marination of your vagina that hasn't been washed in 50 days. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's just better to be more attractive and have better options instead of just having the guys that are going to like smell your feet and probably beat off to you while you beat off and, you know, maybe like, I don't know, look up pictures of like nail clippers or something. I don't know. And the sad part is I continued to sleep with him even after having that conversation. Why wouldn't you? He's literally telling you the truth. And then also you guys are literally just a hookup. Like what do you, why are you getting so emotionally involved in a particular, this, this particular type of arrangement? If you knew what it was, which is having a hookup, which is just having sex with you willy nilly whenever you fucking want to, whatever the convenience of having sex. Why would you even be asking this guy? You just want to like hurt yourself. Is that what it was? Like you just wanted to set yourself, <laughs> set yourself up for failure. You just want to hear what he had to say. You knew he wasn't going to say anything good about you. He literally just said his friends made fun of him for even having sex with you. So why would you think it's like, okay, well, this woman's like literally setting herself up for failure, dude. Another time in college, I was hooking up again with this guy. How many hookups do you like? Can, some, can, people, can people let me know down below? Because like, I'm not a hookup type of person. And I think I probably have never hooked up with anybody, right? Hooked up as in like one time thing, right? Isn't hookups like one time thing or something like that? I've never had that. I've had sex with people that I weren't, I wasn't in relationships with, but that's like very few and far between things. And I was like very young and I wouldn't do that anymore. So like how many times is like, how many, how many, like, let me know down below. Are hookups, like, really common? Because, like, for me, it's just not. For about eight, seven months. You were hooking up for eight to seven months? I thought a hookup was, like, lit. Or am I thinking about, like, a one-night stand, I guess? Okay, yeah, I guess I'm wrong. Okay, like, you're hooking up with a guy for seven, eight months. I get it. Like, you're just having sex. And I guess when you're, like, really young, it's, like, the novelty of having sex. Because, like, when you're younger, then you start to go, like, oh, man, I could just throw my penis into anything, right? Because, like, I remember when I was, like, really young... Uh, I was like beating off like four or five times a day. Like it was like a sport for me almost. Like I remember being in class thinking about that one video that I was watching. And I was like, man, that shit was crazy, bro. I just, I think I'll probably need to just go beat my shit right now. And I would just wait and wait because I'm not beating off in school. I knew a lot of women that did beat off in school though, but I never beat off at school. I would never even take a shit in school. Fuck that, okay? I knew a dude, okay? I knew a dude that literally took a shit at school and somebody, this is what people used to do, okay? People literally put their phone over the stall and see you take a shit and that shit would get cycled around the whole school and everybody would make fun of you for like a year and a half. They would just say this shit like, oh, you fuck, I saw that time. I saw you taking a shit at school. You fucking gross. You're disgusting. And you know what's really crazy is that they would never say anything about the dude that would put the phone over the stall looking straight at me. Like, what do you even, if you didn't, if you didn't publish this video on a social media website, right? 
uh, what were you doing with that video, right? You like, you know what I'm talking about? Because I've had literal dudes like look over the stall when you're over here taking a piss, which is a really crazy thing to say, and they would make fun of you because you had a small meat or whatever. And I would just be like, this is some gay shit, right? Like you're not you're you're really you're real deal looking over the stall at another man urinating and like making fun of me because my dick wasn't erect as if that's even something that's supposed to happen like am i supposed to like come into the stall beat my shit up and hopefully look over the stall so that way everybody that sees it knows that i got some big shit no that's gay that's even more gay if anything it's the most heterosexual thing for me to do is to not have an erect penis while men are looking over the stall while i urinate but i don't know people were weird right but this dude i knew he literally got made fun of for like an entire year because he took a shit he took a fucking shit, dude. You can't do that. You can't do that in public restrooms, dude. And I'm going to let you know right now, in my entire life, I'm going to like, hopefully I live, I, this is something I live with for the next, rest of my life. I've never taken a shit in a public restroom ever in my entire life. And I'm proud of that. I'm really proud of that, dude. One up for everybody that's not done that anyway. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about. And I spent about like 60 to 70% of my nights staying over at his place. If you're doing that much, you, oh man, sometimes these people put themselves in scenarios where they know what they want, but they continue to believe that it's going to go somewhere. Or maybe it's a little, it might just be the prospect of having that conversation with that individual. And if that individual takes it too far, they might just leave. If that makes any sense. Right. Because there are points in conversations where people just shut off. Right. And I've seen this before. Like maybe they, somebody says something that's just factually incorrect. Right. And you go, wait, hold on now. That doesn't make any sense. Let me actually, let's go into this a little bit. And they go, nope, nope, not doing that. Nope. And they just leave. And that happens a lot in relationships where somebody maybe wants to talk about something a little bit serious. And that serious could just be, hey, what are we? Like, what are we doing? And that person will go, uh, no, you know what? I don't forget about this. Like, let's not do this anymore. Get out. Like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And then it's over. So the idea of them sticking around, even though they're just there for your just just for your body, and you know that, and they don't really care about you in any significant way, is a better is a more is a better alternative than actually getting the truth out of that person. Like you almost know that he doesn't like you for who you are. He just wants to use your body, but you're okay with that because the idea of staying with him is better than I guess not knowing the truth or even though you know the truth. It's just sad, dude. Like these people are literally setting themselves up for failure. And like I see it to a certain degree. Like you're in college, maybe like you you don't have like the the emotional uh, intelligence that maybe another person would or somebody a little bit older might have, and it sucks. Because, like, I feel like you do have to go through those times and you have to go through that breakup and you have to go through, like, the torment and the anger and the, whatever the fuck to, like, be, to understand what you really need in a relationship. But it's really jarring to hear these people say this shit because I know they know what they want, but they're just not doing it because they think this is all they can get. When in reality, you can get a lot more. You just need to improve yourself and make yourself a better candidate. And it's really sad, too, because I see these people who have literally never improved themselves just sitting here literally saying the same shit for like decades, bro. He would sometimes order dinner from places nearby us. And when he'd walk to go pick it up, I'd be like, oh, let me come with you. And he always said, no, nah, it's okay. You just, you know, you can't walk to the restaurant. What are you fucking talking about? That's crazy as fuck, dude. I get it. It's a restaurant, but we're not eating there. You do know that we're going to walk to the restaurant and then walk back, right? Like it's not, obviously you're not going to be able to do that, but no, I know what she's saying. Like, the guy didn't want to be seen with her. She's busky. She's big. She's voluptuous. Is obviously not something he wants to be seen with. And that's really fucking sad, right? Uh, I don't know personally if I've ever been in a relationship before where I didn't I didn't not, not want to be seen with the person that I was with. But that's only because I'm only ever with women that are 9s and 10s and sometimes even 11s. No, I'm fucking with you. But, like, I've never really been in a position where I didn't want to be with somebody, like, out in public. That's a crazy-ass thing to say. Um... I don't know. Like, that's it's so crazy. You must be really butt ugly if that's the case, man. Stay here. I don't even think she's that ugly, but, you know. Here, I got it. And the few times that I did go with him. And I also think that if you're going to have, like, this type of nose piercing, wouldn't it be better if it hangs out of the nose a little bit more? It just kind of looks like it's sucked in a little bit, you know? Like, I almost can't even see it. He wouldn't hold my hand. Dude, why would he hold your hand if it's just hooking up? What are you talking about? You have a miss you have a miss idea of what's going on in this relationship, dude. It's literally just having sex. Why the fuck are we holding hands? What the hell are you talking about? That'd be like me and my friends were butt buddies. Like I was just having sex with his anus whenever the fuck I wanted to, and he was having sex with my anus. I don't care what anybody says. If I was a gay man, I would not be a top or a bottom i'm exploring the whole nine dude he's getting my ass and i'm getting his ass and i'm sucking them off like i don't care what anybody says dude i'm not like i'm not a bitch 
right? I'm not saying that you're a bitch if you're a top or a bottom, but I feel like I would be, the, if I was gay, but I'm not gay, if I was gay though, I would, I would let him use my butt cheeks and I would, I would also use his butt cheeks. I'm not like one of those bougie gays or whatever, if I was gay, but I'm not gay, obviously. But uh, what are you expecting? Like you, you want to hold hands with a guy that you're just having sex with? He obviously doesn't look at you like that. He didn't even want to go out in public with you. Why the fuck are you surprised that he didn't want to hold your hand? He wouldn't touch me in public. Then all of a sudden, I get a text from him saying, oh, I can't see you anymore. I have a girlfriend. True. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, we spent a lot of nights together. Yeah, but you were just a hookup. I don't, I don't understand what's wrong with this woman, dude. She's like, she like, she knows the truth. Like, oh, yeah, we were hooking up. And I was so surprised when he left me for a girlfriend. But, you know, at least it was okay. At, at least he, like, kept it a buck with you and said, hey, I'm going to leave you for this other girl because I'm in a relationship, which is, like, the right move. It, it kind of sounds like he's not even doing anything bad here. It actually kind of sounds like he's being the gentleman here in the sense of like, dude, he didn't want to be out with you in public. He kept it a buck with you. Like it was only sex. He was buying food for you. Okay. And he let you knew that it was over between you guys because he found a girl that he actually wanted to be in a relationship with. If anything, it just kind of sounds like this guy was like, I don't know, emotionally mature enough to tell you the truth. It's, I don't know what the fuck is, what do you want from a guy like this, dude? It kind of it sounds like he did all the right things. This man literally said, yeah, I would go on dates during the day or nights I didn't see you, and then you would just come over the other nights. Yeah. <laughs> I could literally tell a million stories like this. And That's sad. That's really sad. Because I understand the point that you're making here is that he's the bad guy, when in reality, you're the fucking bad guy here. You were literally thinking that this was a lot. You were, like, working under a false illusion. Like, wait, this, you, you, were, you literally had, like, a facade in your head while knowing the truth, and you still acted like you were there in the right. You aren't in the right. You, what the fuck are you expecting? A guy that's just having sex with you is gonna do with you. What are you talking about? If any of this guy made all the right decisions, you didn't make, you made none of them. And I wish I could tell you that I learned from these experiences and that I raised my bars and I never let other men treat me like that. But I can't say that to you. That's sad. What? How can you, how can you look at yourself in hindsight and then how can you, <laughs> how can you look at yourself in hindsight, right? And then you're saying, I didn't learn from my mistakes. Even now, even now, while looking back at the times where you were literally being used and you were work, you put yourself under this like false idea of like this relationship that you were with, you still look back at those moments and say, I didn't learn, but you're reflecting on them right now, but you're literally looking at them as mistakes right now. How can you say that now and still not realize that they were mistakes? How does that even, how does that even make sense? How do you do that? What the fuck? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Can somebody let me know? I, this kind of sounds like this woman's like literally purposefully ignorant. Like she's she's explaining why it's wrong. She's explaining why she did something that she shouldn't have done. And then, and then she says, but I didn't learn from it. How the fuck are you going to explain to me all the things that were wrong with it and still tell me that you didn't learn from it? So does, does that mean you're still doing this stuff? What? Okay. All right, man. All right. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, dude. I was just so desperate for male validation that I put up with all of these terrible experiences knowing full well what was happening. There's... Look, I've never been one to want male validation. I maybe have been one to want female validation, but I feel like as you get older, you slowly start to realize that it's not, like, really anything at all. Like, I don't really care. Um... Even, like, I'm a really, really unselfish person, and maybe I'm really, really selfish, too, actually. Yeah, I'm probably really selfish. Like, I don't really care anymore if I'm with somebody and, like, I need their validation. I don't care. Like, bro, I, I'm, I know what I bring to the table. I know who I am, um, and I know my faults and things such and so forth. I know that it's probably a detriment sometimes because I could be, like, really, really terrible in relationships in the sense of, like, I've been in I've, I've been in relationships before where the person's like, you need to tell me you love me more. You need to tell me my ass is fat. You need to tell me this and this and this. And I'm always like, what do you mean I need to tell you this stuff? Like, we've been together for like three years. Like, obviously, I think your ass is like the fattest on the planet. Obviously, I think that you're the most gorgeous woman on the planet. But like, what the fuck? Like, we've been together for this long. Why the fuck should I have to tell you this shit? Like, you know that I, that I know this shit. But sometimes you just need to hear it. But I'm just not that guy. Like, I'm not that person that likes to tell people stuff like that because it's just not in me. So I have to like force myself to try to, I don't know, give you those assurances and things like that. But for me, it's like, it's really hard for me to do that stuff. And I know a lot of people might be going, David, come on, it's not that hard. I know what you're saying, but like, it is hard for me. Like, I don't think about this stuff. So 
when I do do it, it's very purposeful. And I have to like deliberately think about doing it and go, oh, maybe I should compliment her today. Maybe I should tell her that her nails are looking really good, even though I have no idea what she did to her nails. Oh, wow, your hair is so curly. That, wow, the deodorant you put on today is so deodoranting. Wow, man, that's re- the, the socks are so great. You know, it's just, for me, it's really, really difficult. Um, so I don't know. I think, I think maybe I have the opposite effect. But definitely when I'm younger, when I was younger, definitely like I would hit up girls and I would try to like, try to get them to give me all their attention i'd get like really really insecure if i found out they were talking to another guy whereas now if i, if I was like dating a girl and she was like hey i'm talking to this other guy i wouldn't care because it's like for me it's like whatever it doesn't really matter to me um probably because i don't think like vagina is as har- highly as it once was like for me i probably care more about a woman being a person than it is than she is a vagina if that makes any sense like vagina is cool but uh it's not as valuable to me as it once was not to say that i like penis or something like that i'm not gay these people want to believe that no one finds fat people attractive, but that's just incorrect. There's- what are you talking about, dude? You literally just told me that you had a scenario after scenario after scenario of guys using you, and the least common denominator on that was literally you being fat. Like, that was the problem under every single circumstance, and then you sit there and go, no, I'm not the problem. It's not me being fat is the problem. Then what the fuck else could it be if you're literally telling me this is the problem? I don't want to believe that no one finds fat people attractive, but that's just incorrect. There's plenty of men that find us attractive. What do you mean by plenty? Like plenty in the spectrum of like men, sure. But like, dude, why are you playing a lottery ticket when you want to find men? Like, wouldn't it? Bro, what the fuck is wrong with this woman, dude? Yes, uh, there are a good amount of men that do enjoy the presence and the relationship of a fat woman, but are you really trying to bank on those particular bracket of men? Like, a good portion of those men are literally dudes that just find fat women attractive because they're fat, which is not a good thing, by the way. You should not want to be with a guy that only finds one particular trait on you to be attractive, and that's the primary reason they're with you. That's terrible. You should, like, find a guy that wants... You should find a guy that wants to be with you for you, and the other things that encompass you, like the physical traits, are, like, good too, if that makes any sense. So, no, like, sure, sure, there are guys out there that do like you for your weight, but if they like you for your weight specifically, that's an issue. But they will never, ever be honest about it because they're so afraid of going against the grain. This woman is uh this woman is delusional. This woman is literally saying like, "Oh yeah, I know these guys actually want to be with me cuz they had sex with me, even though they told me they didn't actually actually want to be with me. They just wanted to have sex with me." I don't I, like how can you This woman is literally looking at her life and then seeing the problems, acknowledging them as problems and then still coming up with the solution of, "I'm not the issue. It's not that I'm fat that's the problem. It's the men." It's the men. It's society that tells them that I'm not hot. What the fuck are you talking about? Could it just be that maybe you're just not attractive to the, like, the majority of people? And I would even go as far as to say that most women uh, do not want to be with fat guys in general too. Like it's not a good trait to have somebody that's literally dying, that's type 5 diabetes, that's like on the realm of heart failure and they maybe only have like five, le- five years left to live. Or it's just not very attractive to have somebody drop their gut on, on your back when they have sex with you. It's just not a good trait to have, man. Whatever of being made fun of for being into bigger girls. Most guys are not getting made fun of for being into bigger girls. Like, most, you think most guys really care about what other people think? I don't think so, dude. I mean, who? Who who would it really, uh like, what, your friends maybe? I can count on my hands the amount of times that, I can count on my hand the amount of times that my dudes had said something negative about my girlfriend that I was with at a particular time physically. Like, I've never heard of that. Most dudes, okay, this is my personal experience. Most dudes are not gonna care. Like most most dudes, they they really don't give a fuck, and if they do say something, it's probably for a good reason most of the time. I could be wrong on this. Maybe you guys have different uh, you have different examples. This is my anecdotal evidence. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I've never, I maybe had a time where I broke up with a girl and my friend had said something like, "Oh yeah, dog, you can get somebody way better. You can get somebody way hotter than that, dog." That bitch ain't shit, dog. You can get a better girl. I've maybe had a scenario like that, but never within the relationship have I ever heard a guy go like, damn, man, your girl look like frog legs. Like, I've never heard that. Never heard that, dude. Never. Never. Uh, I'm not bragging or anything about, like, my girlfriend's being, like, super hot or anything like that, but I've just never heard that. And it's truly atrocious because we're fucking hot. So True. if you're one of these fat baddies like me, 
Dude, you guys got to calm down, man. What the fuck you mean, fat baddie, dude? What are you talking about? I don't even see your fucking... Where's your jawline? Who put up with terrible... I hate... Uh, man, what is up with these words nowadays? Baddie? Bro, do you know what a fucking baddie is? That's crazy as shit, dude. What are you talking about? You're... You can you can you can self-identify yourself as a baddie, but I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm not even trying to be mean. You're not a baddie. That's crazy. That's a crazy ass statement. Can we just center our beliefs a little bit in reality? That'd be like me going on black. Like you know what I'm talking about? Like me going like my Korean ancestors, dude. Nah, bro. Like that's nah, bro. I don't have any Korean ancestors. None of them were samurais. Like, dude, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's so far to the realm of possibilities, dude. Like, but I, I mean, if you want to call yourself a baddie, you can call yourself whatever the fuck you want. I'm Luke Skywalker now. What you going to do about it, huh? Luke Skywalker. We're fucking hot. So if you're one of these fat baddies like me who put up with terrible. And I really think it's really, it's so cringy when the people identify. Like, that'd be like me going like, dude, I'm a 10. I'm so fucking hot. I'm literally like steaming right now. If I whipped out my dick right now, I would burn a hole in the floor. It's just like, that's really what it is. My dick is, I'm so big meated. It's act, I'm big as, oh, my dick is big. That'd be like me. That's, it's just not, why are you doing that? Why are you bragging about it? Have somebody else tell you about it, you know? If you really, if you're really attractive, I don't think it's like a flex to be like, oh yeah, I'm a fat baddie. What the fuck? What is that prefix? Shit like this from men. Please stop. There is no D that is good enough for you to lower yourself to such awful standards. I agree, dude. I don't think dick is, dick is in really uh, high supply right now, dude. Um, I'm sick of meeting women that go like, oh, his, his dick game was crazy. I had to suck that shit up. And I'm just like, what the fuck are you talking about? What you mean you had to suck that shit up? What you mean? Like, and I, I talked to these girls like, oh, okay. Um, what'd you get out of it? Oh, he took me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all you got. That's it. Damn, bro. That's all you got. You sucked his shit up for that. And it's like, it's all right if that's what you want to do. But sometimes I meet women that are like, oh, he was just so hot. Like I needed to suck his nipples. Right. And I'm just thinking like, how hot was this guy to like, that's great. I never, dude, I've met some really, really attractive women and never in my life have I thought like, I never in my life thought, like, this person is somebody I need to have sex with, right? Because, like, I think there's probably... I'm not even trying to brag that I'm, like, more than just most guys. Like, I'd, I've had sex with... I would have sex with a lot of girls, right? Just because. Um, but, like, I would have sex with a lot of guys, too, by the way. Like, if, if Henry Cavill, like, knocked at my door and he was like, listen, you don't... It's not gay to just suck me off. Like, will you do it? I'll record it. I'd be like, yeah. Fucking like, Henry Cavill? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Who's gonna, who's not gonna do it? You would do it, too. That's a crazy-ass thing to say that you wouldn't do it. It's Henry Cavill. Fuck off me, dude. Everybody knows they would suck off Andy Cavill, man or woman. But sometimes I think that a lot of people put a lot of value on what, the way somebody looks. When, I mean, that's cool that, that, that you look really, really good. But sometimes sometimes being a hottie on the outside doesn't mean you're a hottie on the inside. And a lot of times that applies, dude. It, it, it's just be more. Be more. Have more about you, dude, okay? Um, just because you you look good exteriorly doesn't mean you shouldn't be looking good interiorly. Be better than me. I want to talk about the audacity of nice guys. I deleted Bumble like a couple. I also really do not like nice guys, dude. I think that the idea of a nice guy is like he's only being nice to you because he wants something out of you. I hear too many times. I've heard this so many fucking times, dude, where a guy was denied by a girl and I hear, dude, this is so fucked up. Like he literally she literally denied me. I was literally giving her, I was there for her all the time. I was there when she broke up with her boyfriend. I bought her food. I took her out. I did all of this stuff for her. And she still left me. She still, I can't believe this. I'm never going to do it. And I always think like, dude, but you, you didn't do that because you were a good friend. You didn't do that because you were just a nice guy. You were doing that because you were under the prospect. You were under the idea that when she was done with this guy, you would get something in return. So like, don't try to, don't try to lie to me. Don't try to lie to me and say, like, this was the reason why you did that. You're such a nice, no, you were doing that because you thought that maybe you would be able to smell her vagina. I hate that shit so fucking heavily because it's really disingenuous. And I really fucking hate it when people say that shit as if it's like a flexing point, dude. No, don't fucking lie. Women also do this, but a lot of dudes do this shit. Maybe six months ago, but I decided to give it another try. And a couple days ago, I encountered a nice guy. I come across this guy's profile, right? 
and his photos did seem familiar, but I didn't know where I knew him from. I thought maybe I'd run into his profile on Hinge or something. I swiped right, and it was an instant match. And he's funny, and everything's fine. And, like, the conversation isn't, like, out of this world, but it's not a bad conversation. And that's when I go back and I, like, relook at his profile. It's really bothering me that I don't... I recognize him, but I don't know from where. And it clicks. And I run to Facebook and look up my ex-boyfriend's Facebook. He was my ex-boyfriend's college best friend. So okay. instantly, I want to stop this conversation. Like, this is too awkward for me. And I message him and I'm like, oh my god, so sorry. Literally just recognized you. I actually dated one of your friends. <laughs> Took it very well at the beginning. He was like, oh really? It was a insert. Is that a reason to stop talking to somebody? Like, your best friend? If... It might be a little weird for somebody that you're friends with, like bros before hoes type mentality. But if your friends are okay with it, and I mean genuinely okay with it, I don't think that should be that big of a deal. But like, let me know what you guys think down below. My ex-boyfriend's name here. And I'm like, yep, that was him. And he goes like, oh yeah, he, he told me about like a rough breakup with a girl like a while ago. I'm like, yep, that's moi. He comes back a couple like hours later and he's like oh i talked to um and he says it's okay if we talk yeah. and i'm like okay thank you so much for checking in with him but it's not okay with me true if we talk so i was like um you seem nice but i don't want to start a relationship with all of this baggage already because I... you could just block him right like i mean i get it like just say the one and done hey i don't want to if, if this is something to do with you and you don't want to have an interaction with this guy because it could conflict with this prior relationship that's fine but like why are you still leading this guy on why are you still having dialogue with this dude just fucking one and done that shit nope sorry bye obviously i had heard things about him from my ex and obviously he had to have like heard stuff about me from him anal sex yeah she's a defeat dog she loves feet she loves sucking toes and clipping your toenails while she does it with her tongue is that what you heard let me find out and this is when like the nice guy mask came off he literally responds with oh the only person making this awkward is you by bringing up your ex-boyfriend and i'm like dude why are you entertaining this shit dude just fucking leave the conversation what are you doing you're literally just wasting time you're that's this literally you know how many times that i've hit up a girl and i was like hey let me take you out and then she goes ah sorry i can't do that like i'm not interested in you or i have a boyfriend or whatever the fuck and i go oh okay no problem and then i just block them or just leave them and just never talk to them ever again yeah, that's what you're supposed to do because, like, if that person's not interested in you, it's fine. Like, there are plenty of other people that will be interested in you, and it just, this person, why are you fighting a losing battle, dude? Like, what are you what are you doing? You're just wasting time. In the same scenario here, if you don't want to be with the guy, why are you still entertaining the conversation? Like, it wouldn't have got this far if you just said, oh, sorry, nope, you date, you were, like, my best friends. Uh, you know, you were my ex's best friend, so this isn't going to work. Sorry, bye. And then just leave it there because you 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 just told us straight out that it's this this is all to do with you. So, uh, yeah, bro, fucking, you should have been able to like leave this person, bro. And then he literally goes, "It's obvious you're still not over your ex boyfriend. That's why you don't want to talk to me." What are you contouring right now, dude? What the fuck is that? The jaw? Is this where your jaw stops? What is this? Damn, bro, she got that George Lucas going on. You guys know about that George Lucas? George Lucas got that big fucking gobbler. Whatever, bro. Still not over your you ex-boyfriend. That's why you don't want to talk to me. That's his analysis. And I go like, okay, you do you. Point. Bottom line of whatever this is. is why are you still talking to this guy, bro? Like, it's, What are you doing? You're literally just looking. You're, you're drama farming right now. Analysis. And I go like, okay, you do you. Point. Bottom line of whatever this is, is that... I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. After that whole thing, I stopped responding, but he kept sending me messages. I got curious after the fourth message. because Bro, fucking block, bro. What are you doing, dude? Block. I'm like, what could this man be sending? So this man sends me, hello, question marks. And then he follows with, so sorry that I pressured you. It's just that I've been single for a long, long time, and I'm desperate. Jeez, man, that's... 
Damn, dude, that's fucking crazy. See, this is why you just blocked the dude, bro. He's real deal trying to make you feel bad right now. That's crazy. And you sell and you set yourself up for it. You literally knew this dude was just talking shit. And you still went back, bro. Cause all the girls love knowing that a guy is desperate. So yeah, he finishes with I'm desperate. And then he sends another one that says, Please talk to me. So and of course, I unmatched him. That is now you unmatch him? Not like the moment you found out that uh, bro, this woman's priorities are crazy, bro. By the way, the makeup is not nah, dude. That face beat, but it's definitely not it's not it. The audacity of the nice guy. I have a ton of- I don't even know if this is a nice guy thing, dude. What are you talking about? I think a nice guy is like- A nice guy is like somebody that gives off a false illusion. Like a guy that lets you- He's giving off like a facade. Like he's letting you know one thing. But in actuality, he has other- Like he has like malevolent thoughts. You know what I'm talking about? Like he's leading you on. Or he's trying to like lure you into a trap almost, like a Trojan horse, trying to get on your nice side and like, you know, put that fucking, put the trap inside and then boom, you know, once he got a hook in you, it's over because he's got you. This guy doesn't seem like he was a nice, nice guy. It just kind of seems like he was desperate. Like he just like getting, he saw you and he's like, fuck it, dude. Like I haven't had sex in four years, bro. My meat is literally dried up. I got, I got literal dandruff on my meat, beat off blisters. I've been literally stroking my shit. My dick is inverted. And like that, I wouldn't say he's a nice guy. He just kind of seems like he's just bad, you know, down bad. And same thing for you, dude. Why the fuck were you texting this guy knowing that he was... Stories like that. If you want another Bumble horror story, let me know. This doesn't even sound that bad, dude. I have... You know how many horror stories I got on dating apps, dude? This is nothing. This is weak. Hey, uh, I don't know what fat person needs to hear this, but... They know what you look like, and they like it. Mm, I mean, nah, nah. I met a few girls before. I didn't know what they looked like, or at least I had an idea of what they looked like. But when I met up, it's just like, <gasps> oh my god, you are big, way too big. And I'm not for that. Definitely not for that. Uh, if your BMI too high, it's not, it's not, it ain't gonna fly, right? If the BMI too high, it ain't gonna fly. So no, that's a lie, dude. And there's a lot of people on dating apps that do catfish. Just be realistic, dude. Don't have pictures from like four years ago, five years ago, back when you were like graduating from fucking high school or something like that. And then when I meet up to you, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? You're 42. Like, what is going on right now? When you take these, is this, is this your fucking daughter's pictures? Like, what the fuck is going on? I met so many women because I don't meet men. I know they're going to be people, not meet men, not like meeting men with meets. But I met a lot of women that have photos from like five, six years ago. And I always think like, damn, like this woman says she's 24, 25, but she looks so young. She got great skincare. Like this is awesome, right? And then you meet up, you're like, damn, bro, what happened? What are you doing? Why is your wig on your shoulder? And uh, it's tough, man. It's real tough. But they know what you look like and they like it. <laughs> they know exactly what you look like from the side. If you looked at this girl right now, you would not think she's big. Or at least you wouldn't think she's that big. Because all I'm seeing is the headshot. Sitting down, laying down. They know exactly what you look like. And they like it. Yes. How do you know that, though? That's how you date a big girl respectfully. Don't mention her. I really hate the dudes that say this shit, bro. I hate the dudes that are white knighting so hard for big girls. Or even in general, dude. Like, women don't need your help, bro. Yeah, but you know what, man? Go ahead, bro. Uh, you know what? I really want to hear some cringe, so let's hear it. And they like it. Guys, here's what you do if you want to date a big girl. Make sure when she comes over, you have no food in the fridge. So that way, you she knows that you are not feeding her. That's right, guys. These big women do not deserve to eat. Make them work for it. Yes. Okay, and when you're taking a picture, make sure you got the panorama mode on because women, you know, they are big. So this is how you do it, my gentlemen. Anyway, no, whatever. Here's how you date a big girl. I just don't understand also, like, if you're wearing a hat, why are you wearing a hat but you're, like, not wearing a hat? Like, what are you doing? How'd you do this? How'd you wear a hat and then not wear a hat? Just fucking cover that shit up. Respectfully. Don't mention her weight. This is the first thing you guys mess up on. I think most dudes in general shouldn't be mentioning physical body parts on a woman unless it's things that they can change. Like when you meet up with a, like how many women, when you, how many women on a daily basis get 
admired for their physical appearances, like a lot, like literally all the fucking time. So if you want to be like one of those guys that's in the, that category of hitting the woman up and going, wow, your you ass so fat. Wow, your shoulder blades so nice. No, nah, just be like, wow, that's a really nice bracelet. I like the way that, that that fits around your wrist. Wow, that's a really nice. Did you do your hair tonight? Wow, that's really nice. You didn't do your hair? Well, it looks like you did your hair. It looks really good, by the way. Wow, really? You went to that college? I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. I don't know, dude. Just talk about random shit. Stop to, don't talk about physical appearance stuff. It's it's okay to have the intent behind whatever you're talking about. Like, have some sexual, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, have some sexual intent, but be subtle about it. Because obviously this woman knows that you want to have sex with her, but you got to be ambiguous about it. You can't just, like, let, let it lay it down. Be like, yeah, oh, man, yo ass, that's crazy. You the baddest bitch in the hood i love the way your ass is shaped i wonder what it smells like that is crazy you know i got foreskin like you can't just be out of you gotta say some subtle things you know like i don't know bro you go to the gym wow yeah you you seem really in shape that's nice that's a good wow even if she doesn't go to the gym you could that just saying that just like wow you look really in shape that's a nice compliment we all can agree that attraction is important and i also think this guy's putting on a fake yes yeah, we can all agree yeah, attraction. I just, I really do not think this is an authentic whatever voice he's doing right now. It's not sustainable. This is the first thing you guys mess up on. Now, we all can agree that attraction is important and that people are attracted to fat bodies. But it's... There are some people that are attracted to the fat bodies, but probably not the ones that you want to attract. Why is this woman even here? Like, what? just repost the video. Why are you even here just, like, on the corner? Like, what is that, dude? Why are you doing that? It's weird. It's not something that you mentioned in the first conversation. Don't let your opening line be, oh, I love BBWs. Oh, I've always been attracted to bigger girls. You don't need to say any of that. And fat women are women too. They're not mystical creatures. There's no special way to approach a big girl. They Bro, what have you been screaming like all last night? Why does your voice sound like that, dude? He sounds like those Haitian dudes, man. I got Haitian dudes that live on my street, right? And they'll just be screaming out literally they'll be standing next to each other and they'll just be, ah, ah, you come here let me talk to you today are you okay you do you do you doing the wrong thing with your car come here come here talk to me like these guys will be screaming and the dude's like right here like right in front of him just screaming at him they are real people with real personalities just talk to them bigger women spend a lot of time getting eating and treated differently and not in a good way now they're not asking you to make up for it, but they're asking you to not do more of the same. Don't be offended if she gets suspicious. A good percentage of big women have bad experiences when it comes to dating. Most women have bad experiences when it comes to dating, right? I mean, that's just in general, right? But I'm not doubting that bigger women probably have some too. Dealt with a lot of men that talk a big game, but their actions don't match up. And be humble. A lot of y'all men think y'all deserve a reward for being attracted to fat women. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but take her out in public. Show her off. And be aware that sizeism is very real. Show her off in public is like a... I mean, it's, you know, it's whatever, dude. I mean, I don't think it, any of this stuff is bad advice necessarily. But most of the stuff, it's, it's really crazy that you even have to make a video on like top 10 tips on how to date a fat woman when... You don't even need where are there any top 10 tips on how to date a big man? Like, is that a thing? Like, oh, yeah, if he got that chicken grease under his armpit, you know, he's right. Yeah, you, you can double dip on that shit, too. Like you ever run out of ranch? It don't matter. He got some on his armpit. You know it. So it's like, I don't, like, how come we don't see that on the men's side? dude? How come it's always big women? Like, can't you just lose weight and then just not have to deal with like the top 10 reasons to date a fat girl? That's a crazy ass thing to even have. And don't invalidate her experiences. Un ah! I'm going to invalidate them sometimes, dude. Sometimes people, are, I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. Some people, their experiences are completely just a joke, bro. I, I almost can't even believe sometimes when people tell me some stories and they're just like, yeah, bro, this is so crazy. Like, I remember I had a conversation with a, with a black guy. He was like, damn, dog, these police keep pulling me over. They racist. They racist. And I was like, damn, bro, that sucks, dude. That fucking sucks. He's, damn, bro. Because, like, here in where I live, right, the state troopers are even, uh, the Boston police, bro, they'll fuck you up. Like, they'll hunt up. These dudes are literal thugs. But anyway, he's like, they pulled me over for nothing, bro. They not prop And I was like, damn, bro, for real? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, well, what, like, what did they tell you the reason was? He was like, man, he said I had a busted taillight. And I was like, oh, man, dude, that sucks, bro. And I was like, I was like, damn, he just lied? He was like, nah, I did have a busted taillight. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. 
damn, all right, dude. And he was like, then he came up to my door, and he was like, you know why I pulled you over? And then he said he saw weed in the car, and I was like, damn, bro. And he was like, I was like, but did you have weed in the car? He's like, yeah. And I was like, man, get the fuck off me. Like, what are you doing right now? What are you talking about? You know, what are you saying right now, bro? What do you think? Everything you just did wrong? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm sure that racism does happen. But sometimes you got to, like, beat around a bush or some shit like that. Or sometimes people... uh They'll say some crazy shit happened and you got to read into it a little bit more just to see really if it's like truthful. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know, man. Like you just because you like ran a red light and then like a cop pulls you over. It's not systemic racism. Dude. You just like fucking ran a red light. Understand that these ladies live in a culture where every commercial magazine and ad dude, stop virtue signaling, bro. Like I don't give a fuck if big women have to look at things. I'm a small guy. Okay, dude, I weigh like 150 pounds. And it always hurts me when I walk outside and I see men that are bigger than me with broader shoulders. And I go, fuck, damn it, fucking shoulders so massive. I have no massive shoulders. Probably the same way that guys feel when they see my massive dick print. When I walk around with my gray sweatpants. Dad is telling them that their bodies are wrong. Remember, their bodies are wrong. I'm gonna let you know right now. It's, it's, this is not even a woman subject now. In general, being obese, not a good thing for anybody. Literally, is literally nothing good about it. But that there's a whole system of oppression. That's dude, dude. And what are you doing? What is this like? He didn't say anything. He's just saying bullshit right now. He's not even <sighs> system of oppression. Like stairs. Like what? Like what are we talking about right now, dude? Like what? What is the system of oppression? The walking, your knees hurting. God, did God bestow upon you knees? Therefore, they hurt because you're so fat working against her. so be on her side gravity is working against you dude no qualifiers don't say to her oh you're not yeah hey, look at this shit bro she's like she's over here like uh, shocked that a guy is saying his bullshit bro he's literally just virtue signaling he's saying what you want to hear and you like it which is terrible you're literally just in a square right now of people echoing the same shit like if you need to find a reason you'll find a reason you'll find people that agree with you 100 percent. so i mean if you're if you're shocked by this guy saying this shit that's fine, but he ain't really, he's not saying anything. Not fat, you're beautiful. Oh, you're confident for a bigger girl. True. She wants to call herself fat, chunky, voluptuous. Let her be sensitive, perceptive, and attentive. I hope you find this helpful. Anyway. Dear big girl, I'm about to go ahead and give y'all three signs. That man not really into big girls. Pay attention, take notes, let's go. And that shit is literally just swallowing right now, dude. Like a ham. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you tie hams up with those ropes. Number one. Yeah, these glasses ain't it either, dude. Jesus, man. What the fuck are these things? Massive square, massive square, orange squares. Why that man may not really be into big girls. He don't want to love you in public. He only want to come to your house. You come to his house. Y'all sitting in the car. He don't want you to come to no family events. He don't want yeah, I mean, this is this should be like a red flag no matter who you're dating. If he's not trying to go out in public with you in general. But yeah, I guess, bro. I guess, man. I just think there's something really impractical about doing this much to yourself while getting to a pool. Am I wrong? Like, what's the point of being in a pool if you're just, like, just the lower half? Just the lower half of your body, right? Is this what this is? Dude, she's wearing a full face of makeup. Her lashes are literally like nine inches long. What are you doing, bro? want to go to no public functions with you this is a sign that he's not really in Dude, look how fucking massive these lashes are holy shit these things are massive in the big girls or he in the big girls but he not real enough to let the world know he in the big girls red flag number one true sign number two he's probably not really in the and you're wearing a watch bro why are you even in a pool what the fuck the big girls he ain't never told you he's attracted to big girls but that's literally the thing they tell us never to do, though. We literally just watched a video of a guy going, Fellas, make sure you never tell her that you into big girls because that's going to be real off-putting. So which is it? Do I have to tell you right off the bat, like, damn, I love big, voluptuous, massive, busky, smell bad women. I just love that. I need it. Like, Or do I never talk about it in general? So which is it, dude? You can't win either way. He never has said something like, I love big girls. I like them big thighs. I what the fuck are you talking about? So which one do I do? I can't do either of these things now. I'm literally getting mixed signals through the fucking roof. Okay, whatever, bro. Obviously, these people don't know what they're talking about. Too inconsistent. I like them big bellies, you know? 
that's a man that's probably not in the big women because men that's in the big women they gonna tell you that. listen if your body shaped like a sleep number bed dude you got that water mattress body bro and i'm over here talking about like damn i really love that big stomach you got because it's like a storage device i could just can you just hold my wallet real quick can you like open up your stuff hold up actually let me just oh okay hold up oh, okay you're good and then just be on my way you got good features oh my god this is so great i mean it's not practical in the sense of like your health um you're huffing and puffing we haven't even stepped outside yet um damn you really i have to spend literally four or five times more money on skincare products your body is literally slurping up all of my skincare it's so crazy that i gotta spend 15 dollars on this fucking this lotion shit and is the whole bottle's gone you know i gotta use that shit too right like your skin literally i get it you gonna take care of yourself, but like you don't take care of yourself. And I'm supposed to take care of that shit? Give me back my wallet. It's crazy. Let me get that shit back. Anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about. Yeah, they're gonna let you know they love their football. No, they're not, dude. Come on, dude. What kind of guy is out here talking about some damn girl? I just really love the way that gut be hiding that vag. Damn, sometimes when we have sex, I don't even know if we having sex for real. Sometimes I just be in that shit and it be feeling good. But then I look down, it's re I realize it's like your armpit or something. I don't even know for real. But yeah, you could really eat food, I guess. Like, now, what, what are you talking about? What guys are going out of their way going like, yeah, I love the fupa. Who's saying that? That's gross as fuck. If a guy ever said that to you, you got to leave him. That's nasty, dude. What? Girl, I love that fupa. What the fuck kind of romantic shit is that? Yeah, girl, you know you the baddest bitch in the hood, and I love that fupa and shit. What are you talking about, dude? That's gross. What? <laughs> I would be so off-put. What are you saying right now? I remember one time I dated this girl, right? I didn't date her, but I was about to date her. And she was like, I just I just want you to open up. I just want you to, like, tell me. I just want you to, like, you know, be there. And I want you to, like, tell me about your problems and things like that. And I was like, okay. And then I told her some deep shit. And she was like, oh, my God, like... I can fix you. And I was like, what? And she was like, I understand, like, you know, you're going through some things and that's really tough. And like, I just like, you're just flawed and that's awesome. Like, that's so great. And I was like, such an off putting statement to be like, I can fix you. And I'm just like, dude, what are you talking about? What you mean you can fix me? I'm not trying to be fixed. What the fuck? It's the same shit there. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you can fix me, dude? No. If a guy, listen, if you're dating a dude and the dude hits you with a girl, I love your fupa that's not a good thing that's really gross matter of fact dude what are you talking about that is nasty they look that good they look at cellulite he don't say things like that he's probably not really in the big girl doesn't even make any sense it's like going to a car dealership like yeah i'm gonna need to get the car man i love i love the sunroof i need the sunroof forget about the car i need the sunroof just the sunroof that's what i need like it's just like why would you out of everything man out of everything you can compliment a woman on dude that, he must be really into big women if he's complimenting you on the fupa and the cellulite. That's crazy as fuck, dude. Damn, bro. I just, I love the way when you take off your shirt, I don't see nipples because they're being sucked in underneath your, your boobs. Oh, man, I love that. I just really love not knowing when you take off your pants if that's your butt cheeks or your elbow. I just love that shit. Like, what are you talking about? Next one. Dun, 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 dun. Number three. He don't make love to your entire body. This is too much. Damn, bro. What the fuck am I supposed to do? You got too much? Damn. Where? Oh, the whole thing? Your earlobe? What you mean make love to your body, by the way? Like, like vaginally, orally, armpitally? Neck folds? What do you mean make love to the whole body? Wait, hold up. What are you talking about? Even if you want to say, like, like just regular sex, but he's got to be, like, licking up on you. You, what if you, like, what if I'm just, like, uh, uh, and then, I like, out of nowhere, right? I'm, like, uh, I'm licking up someone, uh, 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 oh, what is this? What is this? Why do you have chicken bones under your, under your armpits? What happened? What happened? What is this? And, like, what do you, like, it's not going to taste good. It's just not, you know? Like, if I'm, if I'm having sex with you, right? And you go, lift up my fupa. And I'm like, ah, uh, okay. And you're like, yeah, go go put your face underneath there. And I lift it up. And I'm like, what? What is this? What is this? Where'd you get this? Why do you just, McDonald's? 
What else is underneath here? Hold up. Hold, what? What is that? Hold up. What hole? Oh, you got the... Wow, you got the whole Avengers McDonald's team in your gut? That's... Wow, what else you got in there? At that point, it'd be just like... I'm just trying to find stuff at that point. I don't even want to have sex anymore. You know? Like, what else is in here? It's like the TARDIS or something like that. It's just bigger on the inside. Like, what? What's going on here? That'd be the only reason why I would like the FUPA. It's just like, it's got that storage capacity. It's got that extra space. That'd be the reason. But uh, this is a crazy-ass thing to say, bro. Da -da -da. Number three. He don't make love to your entire body. A man that like big women, he gonna make love to your entire body, your holes. He gonna rub everything. He gonna get lost in the sauce, ugh, baby. Ugh. He gonna get ugh, lost in the sauce. Ugh. This is like I remember one time I talked to this girl, and she was like, mm, mm, "He ain't getting my hot pocket." And I was like, "What? If, out of every food that you could use to describe your vagina?" A hot pocket out of everything should never be the thing that you go to. That is absolutely despicable. You could have used any, you could have used roast beef and I would have been more happy about that. Hot pockets? That shit is not even a deluxe treat. That shit is literally just like a bottom of the barrel, not even a breakfast food. It's just gross, man. Like, Sometimes people just use the wrong terminologies. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that is some nasty ass shit. And then when she said that, I was like, you got to come up with a better term than that. Like a hot pocket, dude. <sighs> and the same thing here, like get lost in a sauce. What are you trying to say right now? Where is the sauce exactly? What part of your body got the sauce? Okay, whatever, man. I don't know. I'm just getting hung up on things like that. Rolls, he going to rub everything. He going to get lost in the sauce, baby. He going to get lost in that body. If he just taking it out, doing whatever, keeping it moving, he ain't caressing, he ain't rubbing, he ain't feeling, that man probably not really into big girls. Get what if you just get scared though? Like what if you're like having like what if you're what if you're having sex with a big girl and then you go like, yeah, I'm gonna grab on and your hand gets like, like oh, ah! Like, I don't know, man. What if there's it, it could be scary. There could be some times where you could maybe get lost in a sauce a little bit too much and never be found to another one if you a big okay. girl don't scroll by i'm gonna tell you if that dude is into you sis number one mm -hmm. is his very nice hair his mama hefty and i mean hefty as in gobble gobble underneath the arms hefty what dude no what well why does that matter if your mom ain't fat he don't like you what how do you even say that shit what oh man this guy was so great He's such an amazing guy. He has a great job. He has a great automobile. He's funny in conversation. He has all these great qualities. But his mom is in shape. Fuck! I gotta leave him now. I gotta leave him. He's his mom too his mom too in shape. She had nothing on her, dude. It, it, maybe if she was 10 or 15 pounds over, I could give him a chance, but I, I mean she's in shape. I, I can't sorry. Can't do it. And I mean hefty as in gobble gobble underneath the arms hefty. Because most likely, if he got a big mama, he like him kind of big too. What, what is that even indication? Like, what is that? What is that like Greek hero that had sex with his mom? Like, this is that effect? Like, I, I'm supposed to look at my mom as like deep down attractive or something like that? And that's supposed to be a reflection of you? I don't, I don't know about that, dude. I, I don't know about that. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird, dude. That's actually really weird, actually. What are you trying to say right now? Okay. Number two, if he's asking you to hang out in the public and in the daytime, that means he wants to be seen out with you, sis. Now, if he's asking you stuff like, oh, can we just talk in This woman does not look fat, right? But then, like, I saw that shoulder, and I saw that her arm was, like, kind of elevated a little bit. She big, bro. Private, and I don't like my business getting out. No, 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 no. Oh, I see it, man. I see it in the hands, too, bro. She got them thick fingers. Other dad over here. We're not a secret, baby. <laughs> Move on. And lastly, you got to make sure he doesn't overly compliment your body saying weird stuff like, oh, you're so big and I want to put my head in the big thighs. Oh, you're weird. Damn, bro. It's like you just can't win, dude. The other guy said don't do it. The other woman said do it, and now she's saying don't do it. So, like, what do I do, man? I just, I don't even understand. I just don't date them, I guess, man, because it's too many, too, too complicated, dude. Okay, because now he sees you as a fetish. Make sure he compliments your soul and your personality. Your soul? What do you mean, your soul? What? Oh, man, your soul is so great. 
What do you, oh, how do you even compliment somebody's soul? What? Who does that? That's a weird, what? But these people have very weird ways of like, that's, I don't think I've ever in my entire life ever complimented somebody's soul. What? Ellie, and just remind in general. If you are plus size and then- What the fuck was that woman talking about? What? If he don't compliment you on your soul, he ain't worth it. If his mom ain't fat, because if his mom is fat, that means he go like fat women because he wants to have sex with his mom or some shit like that. Who was that Greek story? You know what I'm talking about? There was a Greek guy and it was like ancient Greece and they had told him that one day he was going to have sex with his mom. So he like moved away and he became like a big warrior and conquered a whole bunch of people. And then eventually came back when he was like 30 or something like that. And then he killed his father. And in the process of doing, it, he took he took his wife and that wife happened to, but he didn't know it was his father and he took the wife and it happened to be his mother and he was having sex with his mother. What was that story called, dude? You know the one I'm talking about. Sorry, let me know down in the comment section. You're smart, you know. A happy, healthy relationship. Can you stitch this and share the story? Never mind in general. If you are plus size and in a happy, healthy relationship, can you stitch this and share the story about how you and your partner met? Baby, in the last 24 hours, I had two separate women. I don't think it really matters how people meet. I think people put too much value on how they meet. Like, if you're meeting on a dating app or you're meeting in a library, like a Barnes and Nobles, or you're meeting, like, at the grocery store or, like, a whatever, dude. I don't think it really matters. Like, as long as you're meeting, as long as you're having good quality communication time and the person respects you and stuff like that. Like, I don't think, like, the meeting is, like, the least. The meeting is, like. Obviously, it needs to happen, but it shouldn't matter that much. Like, honestly. Come up to me and share that they feel like they are struggling in finding a romantic partner simply because of their weight. Yeah, that makes sense. Damn, bro, you need to take some fucking... This woman needs to go to sleep. Damn, bro, these are the deepest bags I've ever seen in my life. Whew, you need to go to sleep, dude. Take some time, man. And there are so many of us who are being loved properly, who can completely debunk how they feel and i know for a fact that once we start changing what do you mean debunk what don't didn't you guys get upset when we don't like value your your lived experience or whatever the fuck like if there are fat women going like oh men are dismissing me because i'm fat and you're over here talking about like yeah i could debunk that what the fuck you mean you could debunk that he literally said that i'm too fat for him what do you mean you're gonna debunk it you're dismissing my lived experience homie how we feel about our experiences in dating that our experiences in dating improve it starts here and i want this to be it should start here dude you know what i'm talking about that's where it should really start more content that shows the happy side of being a plus size woman dating and in a relationship so stitch your stories here let's give the girlies hope that's not gonna help anybody dude what so like if somebody is genuinely having like really bad experiences while dating and they just can't seem to find a boyfriend or a girlfriend or something like that and they're going like, dude, I can't, I just like, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just, I never can be in a relationship. I never can find somebody to be with. And your solution is, let me show you my, let me show you my relationship. Let me, you know, I know what, I get what you're saying. Like, you're having a hard time, by the way. I don't believe in that. That's gross. <laughs> you're a fucking cringe. Get the fuck out of my face. Anyway, look at the videos I just put up real quick of me and my, my boyfriend. Yeah, we were having like a really great time. How you feel about that, by the way? Oh, you said you can't get a boyfriend? Damn, that sucks. Uh, but anyway, my boyfriend got big meat, and he's cool. He's awesome, by the way. He's really cool. I love him and stuff like that. You don't got nobody, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, you're 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 like lonely. You're lonely. Damn, that's crazy that you're lonely and you have like nobody to. Uh, you have nothing to live for, and you're gross and you're disgusting. And you smell like uh, almond joys. Like, yeah, that's really. Anyway, my boyfriend's cool. <laughs> We're having a great time. Watch that video real quick. That's terrible. That's really bad. That's not going to help anybody, dude. Damn, that's really fucked up, too, matter of fact. That is crazy. And in a relationship. So stitch your stories here. Let's give the girlies hope. Talk about how that man loving on you right. Talk about how he got it right the first time. Talk about how you have been receiving the love that you deserve. Anally. Simply for existing and being. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be receiving love just simply for existing unless it's like your mom or your parents or something like, okay, that makes sense. But like, you shouldn't be dating somebody that doesn't like, he's just love, like the person's just loving you because you exist. That's it. Like, that's really, that's it, dude. Like, that's tough. You have no like standards or I don't know, whatever, bro. These people are delusional, man. I'm sick of hearing these same fucking stories over and over and over again. <sighs> you know what? You're beautiful. 
You're amazing. You're spectacular. Thank you for watching the video today in its entirety. Thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you do that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you're a member of the channel or you subscribed already, thank you for those things. I appreciate that. Really do. Really do. Uh, if you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. You being here is literally so much, so much. Thank you so much for all that. Anyway, uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in leaf leaves on trees bro we need to go outside we need to touch some grass sometimes dude we need to admire the beautiful nature around us these people i don't know like how they got by so far in their life and still believe the same delusional shit that they believed in when they were like 20 or something like that it's crazy but anyway uh leaf leave that down below and speaking of leaf you need to not leave me alone because i love you and i care for you and i really want to admire you day in day out because you're such an amazing person, man or woman, I don't care, dude. This is nothing gay about what I'm about to say. I would literally suckle and succotash your entire energy because you emanate beauty every single day and it needs to be admired. It really does. I'm sick of people not admiring the amazingness that you, you embody every single day. So keep being amazing. Thank you for being so awesome and being here. You're a beautiful person. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description in the de description of the channel. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 